What's up, guys? This is Ruben with NYY News. Man, breaking news came in. Freaking Mariners went ahead and uh, acquired our the best starting pitcher in the market right now. Um, the Yankees were heavily on him with uh, Luis Castillo. So what's the next move here? You know what I mean? Um, but before the next move, I'll go ahead and tell you, you know, uh, don't be discouraged. Um, it sucks. But the package that the Mariners gave was a big package. It was a, uh, and they gave uh, Noel V. Marte. He's one. Of, he's uh, rated as the number eleven shortstop, uh, number eleven total prospect in in the top one hundred. And then they also gave up a couple, you know, top one hundred prospects in, in that package. So they gave their top five, uh, three of their top five pro prospects in that list. Um, I don't like when people start comparing oh they give their top three of their top five because not every team has um not not every not every team's number one is just as valuable as the other person's number three you know what i mean like someone could have a number one but that doesn't mean that number one is as good as like our number three type of thing but in this situation um uh noel v rates higher than peraza you know what i mean like um I, I think uh, Peraza is going to be a stud. Um, but they must have liked Noel V. Moore. So we'll see. We'll see. But uh, Seattle did the thing. They, they they overpaid in a sense. Um, some people say he, they overpaid. I don't know, man. Um, at the same time, I think that the they did the right move. They needed pitching. They got their ace. Um, we have an ace. That hasn't been pitching like an ace, giving up 56 home runs in 63 games, you know, since since he's been a Yankee. So at this point, um, I do feel that the Yankees really uh, need to go aggressively after Montas. That is the next step. Montas um, is probably the best starting pitcher that's available currently. Um, same time uh, type of control as. Castillo in terms of contract they both become free agents after next year so though you know you would have him for this October next October but it sucks man it sucks I really wanted Castillo Castillo was having an amazing year uh, Montos did have a brilliant year last year where he had like 287 two, 207 strikeouts in like 180 something innings um, and he had a 3.37 ERA last year he dominates the Astros, so that does bode well for us in terms of being able to get an arm that that matches up well against Houston, who who we know will most likely be one of those teams in the, in, in the end in terms of like the American League Championship Series. Um, so Montas is the next step, man. Montas is like the must get for the Yankees, uh, unless of like you know another option that could come available. Um, they uh, the Giants haven't shown any inclination. To trading uh, Rodon, but Rodon is another good option to, to, to go for if he's even available. But um, I would say Montas is the uh, the next option. Some people say Pablo Lopez. Uh, you know, Pablo Lopez does have three more years of control. Um, so, it, well, two and a half, like you're going to get him for this October, two more. Um, any of those two would be good. Some people are mentioning Quintana. I don't even want to think about Quintana. Um, he doesn't really upgrade you. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't upgrade you the way you need to be upgraded. This staff needs a second ace, not another mid-tier rotation piece. We already got those. We need an ace. So, our next step is let's go and get Montas. Um... I'm curious to see what his price is now, given that, you know, the Mariners just paid a lot for freaking Castillo. Does that push, you know, Mata's uh, package up? And is anybody going to pony up that kind of prospect package, you know, or or does that benefit us where, you know, Peraza now becomes like that much more attainable? You know what I mean? Um, for And I've heard in different little bits and pieces on Twitter and little reports that basically... Um, the, the A's 
um, having heavy discussions with about with the Yankees about Montes in spring training. Um, they they liked Peraza a lot. Um, he is the best defensive shortstop we have, so he's a better defender than um, than our number one prospect than Volpe. So, but Volpe has more upside with the bat. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I mean that's that's all we gotta do. We just gotta pivot, go quick. Let's not let's not get down on this, and let's go and get Montas. And another um, low key move. Obviously, I mentioned before. Go get Robertson. Robertson is another really good move. The Mets have been rumored to try to get him. It would be nice if we can get him. But um, and another guy that I would like to get is a small piece. We know him, and it's uh, Joey Wendell, played for the Tampa Bay Rays. I think he would be a, a solid piece to get. He's a left-handed bat, contact bat, um, doesn't strike out a lot. You know, one of those uh, gritty players that, that grinds out at bats. He's a, pe- he's a pest when you're trying to get him out. And he's a left-handed bat. Can play shortstop, second base, third base. You know, I think he would be an amazing add because he's better offensively, in my opinion. Some of these other guys, you know what I mean? So, but at the same time, sorry guys, one second here. So at the same time, I really believe that um, Wendell would be a good add. So let's see what the Yankees do. Let's get uh, um, Montas. And let's go ahead and get Wendell uh, Robertson. Those are my next three targets. Uh, let's see what the Yankees do, man. Uh, sucks that Casillo's gone, but hey, we got options. Let's get this done. There's still some some really high quality arms uh, available. All right, guys. This is Ruben from NYY News. Like, share, subscribe on the video. Please uh, leave your comments down below. I do comment on the video on on the uh, down below. So like you know, leave your comments there. Let me know what you think. Um, I like the dialogue and everything, so I'll be on the lookout for that. Um, But, yeah, you guys have a wonderful night. Peace.